Hey, what's up guys? I'm at Best Buy right now. See if this has power. Nope. This is the one that I might get soon. Replace my old washer with. And the dryer. It has a very big tub. It also has this. You don't have to pour soap directly to the clothes. That's very cool. Normal, 59 minutes. Deep wash, 58. Uh, no turbo wash. Waterproof doesn't use turbo wash either. Downloaded. Adding. Nope, no turbo wash on that one. Of course, no turbo washer to delegates because it has to be gentle with the load. Delicate items. Jeez. Some settings are like very long. Your silk, 1 hour and 55. Speed wash. Rinse and spin. All right, I wonder what happens if you put normal and hit start. This one's the five cubic foot. Model number on this one is WT7300CW. It's load sensing. I wonder if it's really going to take 59 minutes for a load. Spinning. Takes longer to load sense than my old washer. Oh wow, 29 minutes. So this is like where it fills up. Can I unlock? Yep. And this is where you put bleach, softener, and detergent. What's this one right here? This one's expensive. Model number WT7305CV. That's with the agitator. In my opinion, I don't recommend agitator washers. I'd recommend these kinds, since it makes more capacity. Normal, 57 minutes.
if you want spin only, you have to push and hold for like five seconds. See if it's going to spin. This is a 4.8 cubic foot, by the way. Eleven minutes. The draining is like very quiet. Much more quiet than my old washer. Here comes the spin. Here's the next washer we're going to take a look at. This one's model number WT7800CV. And this one is 5.4 cubic foot. This one, the drum, the tub looks much bigger than my washer. Oh, this one has no power. Let's look at the dryer. I really like that stainless steel drum. There is actually two ways to open this. Like if you were unloading the washer when it was done, you can put it like this. Take all your clothes, drop them in. This protects the clothes from dropping to the floor. And if you're done, close it like this. And if you're done, if the dryer was done, you can open it like this and drop them directly to the basket. That's a very neat feature. This one's the most expensive model. The model number WT7900HBA. And this one is 5.5 cubic foot. No way I'm buying this model since it's all expensive. Have right, you guys take a look and see how long each cycles are. Speed watch 28 minutes, that's pretty good. It jumped from 16 to 12 minutes.
And there it goes. And here's the dryer. Samsung. In my opinion, I really hate Samsung. They're not even good. This one has no power. This one's a Samsung dryer. Quick wash, 41 minutes, nah. Normal 56 minutes. Quick wash 30 minutes. This washer is. Oh, it's showing an error code since because I opened the lid. This one's LG. The LG dryer. This one's the old school, old style. Signal. Wrinkle control. That's the push to start, that's the lint filter. Oh, this one's actually used, and look how blue it is. And look how burnt that exhaust heat is. Wow. Wonder why this is wrapped up blue. This one's Maytag. This one's another LG dryer. Go over here. We'll start from over there. This one's 4.3 cubic foot. The drum looks much wider than the, these the, these LG washers. three seconds to cancel. This one's a matching dryer. This one is 3.8.
I feel some vibrate on this washer. Probably the drain. Sensing. All right, let's power this off. Come on, I'm pushing holding it for three seconds. Not forget it. This dryer is seven cubic feet. This one's 4.2 cubic foot. The train has been and hit start. Oh, I heard a noise. Okay, this this washer is weird because oh. When you see the LEDs in person, they're not flickering like it's doing on the camera. It's spinning, it sounds like. This is like, this is a GE. No power. No. This one's a GE. And this one. A dryer. Open box. This one's seven point three. I hate Samsung. They're garbage, in my opinion. Maytag. This is where you can put your bleach at. This one's 5.2 cubic foot. What's with this extra power feature? I don't really get it. These cycles are like enormously long. Like if you were doing the heavy duty cycle, it's gonna take two hours. Or if you were doing sanitize, it'll be an hour and 48 minutes. No way I'm buying this washer. Is that garment? But I'm not putting any because I'm at a store. It's now locked. It's load sensing. I have the spin off so we can hear the chime when it, you know, like how it ends the cycle. Oh, it tells you about the extra power. 
boost stain fighting on any wash cycle. Okay, I get it now. This one's the matching dryer. This one might be the cheaper model. It looks shorter than these. It's 4.7. No power. See this one's five point three. Looks the tub looks very huge. Nope. No power on this one. This one's GE 4.6. This one's an agitatorless. Oh, this has no power. Okay, what what is this? This one's a dryer. 7.2. to the LEDs. Did I power it off or something? Oh. It's locked, so I can't. This one is 7.2. A mana. One of the cheapest ones. This one's 3.5. Oh, there's a drain and spin. Nope, no power on this one. And this one, the dryer is 6.5. Start the dryer. Insignia? I think that's how you pronounce the name. Drain and spin 16 minutes. Tub clean 64. Doesn't stay on heavy duty, not white, not, not on active wear. Wait, how big is this one? Oh, this one, the washer is 4.1 and this one is 6.7. Now to these stackable front loading machines.
what's this washer? The, the dryer 7.4 and the washer's 5 cubic foot. No power. No power on this either. 7.4 cubic foot on the dryer and 4.5 cubic foot on the washer. LG. This one has no power either. I don't think any of these stackable ones are have power. Here's these mini ones. Look at how small this is. this have power? This one looks like an old style. This one's a little drier. This one is 4 cubic foot and the washer is 2.4. Made by Fisher and Paycal. Or Paycal, however you pronounce it. Here we go, it's Samsung again. That exhaust heat looks huge. Here's the other Samsung. This one has no power. I think this one had power because when it when I came here last time, this one had power, so this should still have power. But not anymore, I guess. And this one's a whirlpool. This one has no power either. The dryer is 7.4 cubic foot and the washer 4.8. This one's a dryer. Another GE. Does this have power? Nope. How do you open this? This is where you open Oh, yep. Is this a power? Of course it wouldn't. I really like this blue. This one's Maytag. No power on this one either. No power.
This one's the cheapest LP. 